Hi everyone, it's been a while since we've, we've had a conversation. It's Kim here from Ultimate Speaker. And those of you who don't know me, I am a speaker coach and trainer. And I've just realized that I was looking on the wrong side of the camera. So here I am, I'm talking again. And, and I'm, I help people with their, with their speaking skills and their strategies, their confidence around public speaking. But it's, it's so much more than that. And this is what I'd love to have a chat with you about today. It's this, there's something that we need to do even before we start looking at the skills that we pile on. And, and if you notice that I have been off the grid for a couple of months, there's a good reason for that. And, uh, and this is a big part. I feel really drawn to talk with you today around what that is for you and, and see if you resonate with, with what I'm sharing on, on some level. So last year, towards the end of last year, I was feeling really stuck. I was feeling like I'd lost my direction, uh, my health, my health deteriorated. I was really under, putting myself under the pump and feeling anxious. The slightest things I would, it would bubble up and I would go, this isn't feeling like joy on any level. And I'm going, what the hell is going on? And, and I had lost my sense of direction, my sense of purpose of where I was going. So I, I really felt that, you know, what I was asking myself questions, well, why am I doing this? Why am I even, you know, where am I going with my business direction? What, what do I want? Uh, I was feeling undervalued, which of course was me undervaluing myself. And, and I just felt like my, my strength had been, been sapped. And I just didn't have any kind of connection with with what I had been. And, and of course, I you know those of you who know me, you know that I love what I do. So what this this huge massive disconnect that was happening was like so unlike me. There were money blocks coming up. There was like limiting beliefs around money. There was limiting beliefs about around my ability. Um, my, I was questioning my health. In fact, I have, you know, someone that, that I really have such a massive regard for uh, with the work that he does. And, and he told me, he said, if you don't change your direction, if you don't just stop what you're doing, you are going to be in hospital in 12 months. So that was, that was a pretty big eye opener for me and, and shock because <laughs> there goes the cuckoo. Time to change. I love that. Um, so this stale feeling that I was feeling and, and lack of direction, lack of place, it was like I really needed to work out what the hell was going on. And, and so what I did, and, and you know, I have mentioned this, I'm just sort of, you know, I know my, my eyes are flicking all over the place, but I'm just feeling into what actually happened. But I've, I've actually talked with you about the resistance to relax or resist relax to reward and and that essentially was actually what happened for me is i was feeling this resistance coming up and and it just reminded me and there was a little there was a moment there where i remembered how i'd shared a story about bella our roti and and how she does the resistance with baths and then, and then she suddenly realized that, oh, actually, I know I'm going to get a treat at the end, so I'll relax. And like she starts to relax knowing that there's the excitement of the towel dry and the play with the towel. And then, of course, she gets the treat at the end and, and a lot more cuddles because she's cleaner and smells beautiful. <laughs> but so it, why I share this is that what happened for me was that, okay, I went, wow, okay, I'm recognizing this resistance. And that, that is the biggest first step, is to recognize and have awareness that this resistance is showing up. So I thought, okay, so what do I need to do? If I'm going to follow this formula of, okay, recognize the resistance, acknowledge it, go, what's going on? What do I need to do? Who do I need to be right now? What do I need to give myself? And then to relax into that. And, and you know what I actually did? I went, right, I need to just take myself away. I just said to my wonderful husband, Chris, and I just said, I'm going. I'm going off. I'm taking myself on three nights away in the rainforest. I went up to Butterham to beautiful Amore bed and breakfast. And so it was a romantic three nights for one. 
<laughs> but it was it was really good because I had rainforest I was enveloped in rainforest I had wallabies coming up to my little cottage and and I had the cat birds calling and I it was such a place of healing and I absolutely loved it so from there what happened was I took the time I I called in my coaches and, and, and I had conversations with them and said, look, I need clarity, I need to know, and I need still time. And that's what I did. So I ate when I felt like it. I walked when I felt like it. I, you know, I had glasses of wine when I felt like it. I meditated, I, I sang, I listened to music and, and essentially just gave myself the gift of time and that preciousness of it. And, and the really interesting thing is, as I deep down knew it would, is that I, the reward came. And I'm getting a little bit emotional around this because the reward came because I realized that oh, far out, you know, the karma doesn't have to choose me. The awareness through the conversations that I had with my coaches is that the karma doesn't have to choose me. I choose the karma. I, when I say this, I mean, I'm talking about from a, the spirituality, yes, but it's like you, you choose your direction. You choose what your life is to look like, to feel like, to sound like, to be like, to, you know, what you, and, and, and it's being in that place of true abundance of what you truly want. And I got absolutely clear on my purpose. <laughs> I, I, um, I got absolutely clear on my purpose, I got clear on who I wanted to work with, which are the, you know, the change leaders, those, those disruptors in the world who are in some, you know, massive, where there's global change happening in the world, massive change happening in the world around domestic violence, aged care, environment, wildlife, the you know, nature, there's massive change, climate change. There are people out there, like the Greta Thunbergs, that have Thunbergs, who have the big message to deliver out there. And I realized that's who I'm meant to be helping get their message out and create that impact. And, and seriously, when I, when I realized my true purpose, everything, I felt the shift within myself. And, and one of the realizations was that my my physical self was, was having a complete disconnect from my non-physical self. So all the different aspects of my, you know, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, all of those levels were in a little bit of, were in quite a bit of disconnect in fact. And, and what happened as a result of that is that I was able to get clear on, on where I'm going. And, and so I came back from those three days a new person and yes do you think I've got it sorted out hell no <laughs> it's still in the process of, of coming together but you know what it's like taking those steps forward I'm, I'm already you know changing how I look at things I'm getting into that state of joy before I even start my day I'm in that state of joy and and I'm I'm in a place of like this is exciting bring it on what else? Who do I need to speak to today? What am I doing today? How am I helping today? What impact am I, am I having today? Who am I phoning today? And I'm in that place of like, yes, self, I mean, Janine, my, my business coach, she talks about self-responsibility. It's absolutely about self-responsibility. And it's also about self-care. So why am I sharing this? Because I'm just wondering, you know, are you, are you recognizing it? Or maybe you're thinking, hell, I can't go and just take three days off. I can't just take two months off from work and say, that's it, I'm not doing anything. I can't do that. But what's the cost? Because the person, the health professional that, that shared that information that I would be hospitalized in, in 12 months if I didn't change, what's the cost in not doing something? No, so the pain was great enough for me to go, I need to do something about this. So that's what we do. And, and I'd love to share with you what my core message is now, just from that time and giving myself that space. Because you know what? 
if you recognize that you're a change leader, you're a disruptor, you're a change maker, and you know, or you know someone perhaps, it's like, and you know that there's a big message to get out there, but you don't know how to, you don't know how to deliver it, or you've got fears around being on the stage and how to do that, then it's time to get clear. Whoever you do that with, you know, and I'm happy to have a conversation with you, but if you, whoever you do that with, it's like, get clear on getting it out there because if you know that you've got a big message that's too important to be left unsaid, it's really, an, it's really time to do that. So wow, this is, as you can hear, is really a passionate thing for me. So, but to share my core message, let me share, I'd love to. Uh, we create, you know, the space and guide the change leaders on how to find their voice, on how to find their message so that you can discover, understand, and implement your speaking style. Share your message and, and, and implement your unique message with the world. You can do it naturally and speak from your heart and share it. Ultimately, this is about bringing inspiration for change in the world. And, and simply, what I am doing for you is Lead, being the change, leading the change, and creating the bridge between you, the messenger, and the message you want to deliver into the world. So, that's when I got that, I went, Wow, you know, when you have the clarity, everything lights up. And, and my wish for you is for you to be really clear on what that is. And I know it's the start of 2020, but hey, it's the Chinese New Year, so let's let's say that it starts now and 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 you know when you're clear on that the how as they say the how will always work out and this is what happens the unfolding of that happens the other thing i was just going to say is that you know if you know you have a big message if it's in your heart and it pulls at your strings but maybe the fear will show up it feels like a block it feels like an obstacle you know just remember, acknowledge the resistance. Find your way to relax into this, to become who you need to be so that you can move towards the reward. And, uh, and honestly, if you'd love to have a chat around this, let's do it. All right, bye now. See ya.